Hi there, it's Stephanie. I just wanted to take a minute and show you how to create a cue card in PowerPoint. Here's the result, and it's actually three cards stacked together, but we'll just start with one here. So let's go to a blank slide, and to draw or create this cue card, you begin by drawing a rectangle. Once a rectangle is drawn, right-click on it and change its size and position to be four inches by six inches, which is the standard proportion for a cue card. And, uh, and then we're going to work with its colors and its fill. So you right click on the object again, choose Format Shape, and the fill is going to be a gradient fill. You see that that's happened already. And really all it's doing is creating a very light shadowing, so it's not an absolutely flat white fill. Um, this shadowing creates a little bit more of a realistic effect. So it's a linear fill. Its direction is either diagonal right or left, um, and gradient stops are a three. So stop number one is using a color of white, and its position is 100%. Stop two is using just slightly off-white, which is um, the white darker 5%, and its position is 50%. And stop number three is just back to the solid white and a stop position of 0%. Now the line color on the outside, we don't want a blue line. We want to change that to be uh, just a little bit off-white, but just slightly darker. So we're going to go darker 15%. And the line style is a little bit thick, too obvious. Um, so 0.25 will create a nice edge. And then we'll also add a shadow to this for a little bit more realism. We'll just use a preset, outer shadow of diagonal bottom left. And we'll keep all the defaults as they are because it looks pretty good. Click close and there's your blank cue card. Now to draw the lines, just grab your line tool. And the first line that you draw usually comes down about half of an inch um, from the top on a cue card. So I'm going to hold my shift key down, click and drag, and as I do that it creates a uh, straight line uh, which doesn't vary, it's not an uneven line, so the shift ensures that it is a straight line that you're drawing. Control C and Control V on that line to create a copy of it, and then just drag it down a little bit, and this is where I want the second line to be. Now I'm going to grab both of those lines, Control C and Control V to copy and paste, and I'm just taking that down a little further. Now I'm going to copy all four lines and drag them down. Oops, and that's just a little bit off. There we go. And then uh, paste those four lines in one more time and just uh, repeat. Now I've got one extra line here um, at the bottom, which I don't want. And there you go, there's the cue card. Now normally a cue card, its first line looks a little different from the other lines. Right now I've got um, all the lines set at blue and uh, the weight of those lines is three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to make that first line red, and I can actually make it a little thicker too, but I'll just keep it as it is. So there you go, a cue card. Once you create the cue card, you want to select all those objects and group them as one. It just makes it a little easier to then copy that entire set of objects and paste it. Then you can uh, rotate and you can start to create that um, layered or stacked effect of cue cards. Once you have your cue cards built, uh, then you can put stuff on them. So in this case, I've just put text, three different text boxes on the cue cards, different formatting, different colors. Um, if you have a lot of text that uh, is supposed to be written in between the lines that you've drawn, you probably will have to right click on your text, choose paragraph, and then work with the line spacing, the exactly option, and play around with the point size so that it, it gets uh, evenly spaced between your lines. 24 point seem to work pretty good for me. Now that's the cue card. It's really not much of a stretch to take that cue card concept and create a memo pad. So you can see that the cue card is still basically here. All I've done is I've stretched it out, made it taller, added some more lines, I added um, just a box behind to create a bit of a, a kind of a, a binder cover or a memo pad cover. And then um, I thickened up that top line. And then I created a series of circles with a gradient fill. And then this is just a hand-drawn effect with a gradient fill as well that creates a bit of a hook. And I just duplicated that across the screen. Uh, at first glance, it looks like a memo pad. So there you go, memo pad and cue cards. Hope you enjoyed.